Global Transformation Astrology, GTA, with William Stick Evers. Serious problems in the shadow banking system. So we know Pluto has to do with everything that's sort of like that deals with the underworld. But as we know, in the banking system, we have what they call the shadow banking system. And the shadow banking system, particularly in China, indicates the next crisis has started as defaults are surging. So we have to remember here uh, in the United States, or actually, what back if you just go back to 2007 uh, to 2009, shadow banks played an important role in the modern financial system and are arguably the source of key vulnerabilities that led to the 2007 to 2009 financial crisis, meaning they were the trigger. They were the ones that lit the match that set off the fuse. And shadow banks, by the way, write 38% of all home loans almost triple their share in 2007. So what we're seeing now with the shadow banking system in trouble in China, we're seeing suspicious lending practices, including zero or negative down payment schemes, negative down payment. You don't have to put any money down. And this has surfaced in China's real estate market, reminiscent of the pre-financial crisis practices of 2007 and 2008. And these practices artificially inflate prices and attract marginal buyers, exacerbating the risk of an overinflated market. Now, you need to realize that China's real estate market is bigger than America's real estate market and European Europe's real estate market combined because it makes up 30 plus percent of its economy, right? So America um, in the United States, I know real estate makes up about 22%, 23%. In China, it's more like 30 to 33%. And it's much, much bigger in terms of its valuation compared to um, the American and European, or let's just say Western European valuation of real estate. So China's shadow banking system is witnessing a surge in defaults now, surpassing the records since 2018. And the situation poses a threat not only to China's financial system, but also to the global economy. And the shadow banking system problem serves as an early warning sign of an impending crisis. You have to remember it was the shadow banking system that first triggered the Chinese stock market meltdown that happened in the beginning of 2008. And then we saw um, its bleed over, uh, particularly with the um, real estate market and the commercial real estate that resulted in the beginning of a, the beginning of a failure of two big to fail banks, that being um, Bear Stearns in 2008, March of 2008. So the surge of defaults and declining consumer spending highlights the fragility of the global financial system. And if you look here, you could see transiting Pluto, zero degrees Aquarius, right on the ascendant of China, right near its moon. And we see, um, we see that Jupiter-Pluto square coming into formation. This is the eclipse. The May, um, it was May 6th in China when the lunar eclipse occurred. But you could see it's, where is it? It's like right on the IC... Um, it's right on the MCIC axis, not too far off. Uranus is about to cross the IC, the IC rules real estate. IC rules real estate. What is Uranus rule? Massive disruptions, major, major breaks where we see, right, the, the shadow banking system, the shadow banking system, Pluto moving, right? Pluto has been over Jupiter. It's been heating up. It's been heating up and inflating the shadow banking system that has been responsible for creating all these zero or negative down payment schemes, right? Everyone's getting rich. Everyone's buying a place. They don't have to put any money down. And what we're seeing is now, as Pluto is moving onto the ascendant of China and onto the moon, we're seeing now a rise in uh, faults, with, with defaults. We're seeing major defaults with loan payments here, and these low payment these loan payments are directly um, impacting the shadow banks because we have to remember shadow banks write thirty eight percent, let's just say forty percent of all home loans. So this is producing fragility in the global financial system, and combined with inflation expectations, because we know that Jupiter, Pluto, and Uranus, Jupiter 
right? We got the Jupiter Uranus conjunction coming up. That would be hitting right on the on the IC of of China, which rules what? It's real estate. So you're gonna have a Jupiter Uranus conjunction right on the IC of China, rules its real estate. You're gonna have the Jupiter square Pluto that's hitting its that's hitting its shadow banking system. And also uh, it affects its energy market trends, right? So we're seeing inflation, energy market trends, all of that housing market indicators are indicating an inflation is hitting this peak level, right? So in other words, because remember, anything when you touch Jupiter, Uranus, Jupiter, Pluto, what do you have? You have more inflation. So there's more and more inflation. And the inflation now is now going to create much more fragility in the system, particularly with China. So as the crisis unfolds, the involvement of government and central banks become crucial, too big to fail, right? Jupiter rules what? Jupiter, Pluto rules too big to fail. Write that down. Jupiter, Pluto alignment, the consequences, the blowback, the hubris, the consequences of hubris of too big to fail. A too big to fail corporation is one whose size, complexity, interconnectedness, and critical functions are such that such firm, such a firm, to go unexpectedly in liquidation, the rest of the financial system and the economy would face severe adverse consequences. So it basically means that the interconnectedness of these entities will severely destabilize the global economy, necess necessitating government massive intervention to keep propping them up to prevent systemic failure. So this goes back to this Jupiter-Pluto. We're going to see too big to fail politicians, you know, who basically are protected and shielded by the CCP, who are operating and overseeing all of this. They're basically the ones that are pulling the strings with the shadow banking. Too big to jail, too big to fail, too smart to fail. Um, we're going to see that impact China in a very big way, right? Because we're looking at a crisis unfolding. And one of the things I said is, you know, I see a black swan event hitting China. And it could be that China, just like it triggered off the COVID crisis, China could end up triggering the larger recessionary crisis. So there's going to be a lot more coming up on this. So while U.S. goes through its own return, its own Pluto return, Pluto in China's chart is becoming very active with Pluto moving over the ascendant. Now, Pluto rules war as well. Pluto rules conflict, war, and recession, and crisis. See where I'm going with this? If you want to gain clarity on world events, free from mainstream bias and full of detailed insight from a master astrologer, join the Global Transformation Astrology GTA membership. Go to williamstickevers.com or click the link in the description. Join hundreds of other truth seekers gaining a deeper insight and understanding of global events so you can navigate this complex world with clarity and confidence. Become a GTA member today.